let's make these stitches that we created in our previous short even better. So let's make it so it adds displacement below the stitch. Now we only want this on the ends of these stitches. So how do we do this? Well, I just create a new object with just vertices on the ends of the stitch. Let's now drag this into geometry nodes and we want this object to use the same transforms that we're using for the stitch. Let's now add these also to the same place we're adding these stitches. Now instances can't drive any system, but geometry can. So let's realize this into actual geometry. Now it's important we don't do this for the stitching. Instead, we're just gonna join these together and connect this to the output. Now to avoid dependency loops, we need to create a duplicate of our surface object and use this to get the normal for our stitching. Now to our original Zuzan, let's add in a vertex weight proximity node with a vertex group, the target object being the draw curve, the proximity mode set to geometry, lowest of 0.01, highest zero, and we want this to drive a displacement modifier. So let's use this vertex group and set the strength to a negative value. Now when we draw these stitches, it will dynamically add some displacement to the surface. For more tips like this, check out our channel.